So, I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on lately. Uh, I've been fooling around with the TI Launchpad and the uh, HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor and the Energia ID, IDE for the Launchpad, which basically lets you write Arduino code for the launch pad instead. So we have here, I'll show you the, uh, the setup of this circuit. It's a real simple circuit. It's mostly just how I interface it that I find it pretty interesting. Uh, basically what we have is we have a, uh, a TI launch pad and that's a 25 this is a 2553 MSP430 2553 chip mounted on the uh, Revision 1.5 TI launch pad and I'm powering that right now with it's a little uh, it's supposed to be a little USB power pack it's got a uh, it's got four AA batteries in it it's basically just giving a uh, USB power to the circuit and then we have a uh, this is a HC let's see let me see the model right here in the middle HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor that I bought off eBay you can find those on eBay for about three dollars a piece they're a uh, pretty good value and last but not least we have this is a little speaker I robbed out of a PC yesterday that's one cool thing you can take out of old PCs, among others, is uh, those little case speakers. So basically what I have this program to do is, uh, I don't have a uh, an LCD or any kind of display. I haven't figured out how to use it yet. I haven't tried and I can get it done. But uh, basically we have this sensor here uh, programmed to uh, output the distance and then the the MSP430 is just uh, translating that distance into a frequency and then using the uh, Arduino tone command to send a tone out to the speaker based on the distance. So I'll give you all a quick uh, demo of how this works. Lock this down, turn my power on. Okay, so back out a little bit. As I, as I move my hand closer, you can hear the tone goes lower and then uh, the frequency of the tone goes lower and then as I move my hand farther away, the frequency of the tone gets higher. Pretty simple circuit. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Now one thing I do want to show you guys is that this HCSR04 is a 5 volt device. And one thing you have to remember when you're working with the launch pad, the launch pad, the MSP430, is a 3.3 volt device. So you can't, uh, you can't just pull the power off the VCC pin. And I saw, I was looking around on the net the other day, and I saw a cool hack somebody did. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to reference their page because they, they did come up with a cool hack. Uh, on the launch pad board, you'll see I've got these two jumpers right here connected and that's uh, there's a couple of test points that are right here Let me zoom in but you see I put uh, I attached two jumpers that's two test points that I soldered jumpers to there and what you're getting at those test points is the uh, 5 volts coming straight in before it hits the 3.3 uh, volt voltage regulator so I'm using these test points to uh, bring VCC and ground over to the HCSR04. And you can do that with uh, you know, just about any low current draw 5 volt device. So that makes it pretty easy. It was a really good idea. Uh, and it took me like just a couple of minutes to solder those little header pins on to those test points. So. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut over to the computer now. I'm gonna go through the code real quick, and uh, I'll be sure and 
give a little credit out for the uh, people I stole some of these ideas from. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I want to start with a uh, cut. Okay, so I'm back, and I just want to start with a uh, couple of sites where I got some information. I want to give them some credit, and I'll link to them in the blog post too. But this is a uh, blog.suspended-core.info where I found some of it, and this guy is showing how he took the uh, took the five voltage th the five volts from these test points you can see them here and here where he installed the uh, single headers look like he has a looks like a yeah it's a 2231 he's got installed on that launch pad and he's powering this PIR sensor which I have a couple of those too I might be working with those next basically just motion detectors and uh, for whatever reason if you if you were paying attention, the uh, connectors I use are called uh, DuPont connectors, where they're female. Instead of using that, I guess he didn't have any. You just use these alligator clips with the uh, male jumpers. Uh, if you don't have any of those DuPont female connectors, they're they're pretty good, very handy. So yeah, uh, this is where I got the idea to uh, pull the five volts off of the launch pad. Of course, you can also just you know, use a little cheapo voltage regulator too, but this is a lot easier. Then, I want to show you, this is where I pulled the code from, trollmaker.com. Uh, this is the first time I saw somebody actually just write some code instead of using the, uh, the library. And when I tried to use the uh, ultrasonic.h library the other day, yeah, I can get it to work with the Arduino but I was having trouble getting it to work with uh, the launch pad for whatever reason and I'm not sure if I didn't have something connected right or what but uh, what I did was I just stole this code from him and uh, it's real simple and uh, I'll show you let's see the code here's the code I did I did change some things but basically you're using uh, you can see you're just using two pens using a trig pin 12 and echo pin 13 and those are labeled on the uh, HCSR04 and uh, you just put those on uh, pins 12 and 13 on the launch pad and you can see I commented out the serial dot begin 9600 because uh, this is set up to actually output the distance to the serial monitor and it works fine but I wanted to uh, output to speaker instead so we'll just go through this code real quick just uh, setting up these um, the trig pin is output and the echo pin is input basically all that is is uh, one of them is a is transmitting a ultrasonic sound and the other one is measuring the amount of time it took for the sound to come back and that's how it gets the distance and this is where the math is right here distance equals duration blah 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 another little change I made to the code was I uh, reworked the code to give me inches instead of centimeters so and here's how the code works if the distance is greater than or equal to 20 or the distance is less than or equal to 1 then I uh, no tone I don't want it to put a tone out at all uh, so our little our little uh, tone generator or theremin or wh whatever you want to call it only works between uh, 2 2 and 19 inches okay and one way you can do that one way you can change these uh, distances to frequencies you can map it right here using the map command or what I chose to do instead just like make it simpler you can see all these uh, green lines are commented out I just chose to do a uh, tone and then 10 I didn't even set it up 10 and then a uh, distance times 40 so if your distance was a uh, if your distance was a uh, let's see two inches say you get 80 Hertz tone uh, 
if your distance is 10 inches you'll get a 400 hertz tone whatever so I kept it low but you can choose to use a map command instead so uh, and I did put a, a little 10 millisecond delay here and that's just to uh, make sure you don't want to run this too fast because then the uh, then the uh, ultrasonic sensor will st it'll, it'll start getting confused. It needs a certain amount of time in between pulses so that it's not uh, sending out pulses before it receives them and things like that. I think I think you can even run this delay all the way down to one, but I didn't need to. I didn't need it to be quite that fast in this case. And also just wanted to show you two more things. This is the HCSR04 distance sensor, ultrasonic sensor. Uh, you can find them on eBay. Look, this is 229 shipped, so that's really cheap. And then this is the uh, MSP43-2553. That's this. This is the same chip that is on the uh, my my launch pad board right now. You can see how cheap they are. You can get a uh, one of them for two and a quarter, or if you buy in 10 quantity you can get them for about 20 bucks so that's a really awesome deal and you also need to uh, if you don't have one yet you need to get one let's see I'll pull it up the if it'll come up this is TI launch pad Texas Instruments launch pad and they're still 430 uh, it says plus shipping but shipping is free they're 430 shipped and that actually includes uh, the MSP 430 2553 chip and they usually send like a uh, I can't remember what they're sending now like a 2442 or something like that but the 2553 is an awesome little chip it's actually got 16 uh, K 16k of uh, program memory so that's pretty good and, and of course I also want to plug one more time Inertia uh, let's see do GitHub because this is what's making it possible for me to program this thing this Inertia project is uh, let's see Trying to find their home page. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, here we go. They have a wiki here. And they're, they've been coming out with libraries uh, quite a bit and everything. The only issue I really am seeing with this is that this, uh, I'll verify the code here so it'll compile just this little bit of code here it doesn't seem to be very efficient when it's compiling it as you'll see in just a second I've only got 16k of program memory and all this is doing is outputting a tone but uh, it's moving real slow but you'll see that the program size is is pretty big it's a uh, almost five and a half K and uh, so it's not real, uh, not really efficient. Probably be a lot more efficient if you actually use the uh, the Code Composer Studio and we're programming it the way it's supposed to be used instead of this emulation mode. So anyway, uh, I hope this video has helped somebody out with the uh, five volt pins on the launch pad and uh, interfacing the the ultrasonic sensor to the launch pad. And I'm going to put links to the links I showed you guys and uh, I'll post the code up in the blog too. And the blog is at meanpc.com. That's meanpc.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.